All right, so welcome to a night hiking interview with Farouk. That was perfect. JFrog. Good job. And you guys have been doing some really cool stuff here at Java One. So I went to the Ignite talk yesterday. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that was I fun. like this format. <laughs> it's actually it's very amusing, down to business. Good speakers fail on it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, the Ignite format session is you get exactly five minutes to do your entire talk, and the slides auto advance. Every 15 seconds, you get a new slide. Yeah. So it's funny. It is. It's funny to watch people with charts and little words everywhere and die. Oh, wait, didn't Fred have that? No, we didn't do it. We just as good. We don't need any <laughs> any charts and nothing. Yeah, OK. So let's talk about um, what you guys are doing with Docker. Yeah, so um, what do you think about Docker? Um, it's, it's definitely got a lot of hype around it. Uh, I'm not sure that was a compliment. <laughs> was it? But it's, it solves a problem because people need to, to spin up images and automate all that stuff very easily, and they provide a framework for doing that. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's actually a very fascinating tool. And uh, for me, the most fascinating thing about it is we are 2014 and it only came now. Yes. And uh, now it catches fire bef because it's something that people waited for so long and now it's there. So one thing about Docker is that it actually can be used in size organizations, in enterprise environments to manage containers which are not especially public, right? Yep. So we have those public stuff like, you know, we want to download and install Artifactory, you go to the central repo and you have there the the container of Artifactory and stuff. But what about your private stuff? What about your custom containers? What about your custom and closed source components? Now, it, it wasn't easy up until today to do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the big news, especially for us, is that now there is a very simple way to do it. Since yesterday, new version of Artifactory supports oh, supports okay. Docker. Supports Docker. This is a big a, a announcement. Docker containers. Yes, yes, it's big. Very nice. So you can use. So for those of it, those listeners who don't know what Artifactory is, can you? Are there any? For the one person watching. All right. Who does not know what Artifactory is? Yeah. Can you, can you get them the 30-second pitch of on course, Artifact of management? Of course. So Artifactory is a binary repository, and uh, our roots are Java. We started being uh, Maven, Gradle, and Ivy repository. And then over the years, we added different types of packaging systems. And uh, um, of course, we're still very, very connected to the, uh, to the Java community. Java One is our favorite show in the year. Uh, something that useful for Java developers like Docker, we would like to help manage yeah. that as well. And the other thing you guys do also is um, you do something like Maven Central, but done right. Yeah, so um, another product of ours, it's uh, Bintray, which is um, a whole new concept on the block. We call it distribution as a service. It's a service that allows you to distribute your software without need to write, maintain, okay. manage your own download server. So let's get back to Docker. So if, yep. if I wanted to, to put together a solution where I'm setting up Docker to do my deployments inside of a corporate like firewall, Exactly. What what components and stuff do I need to effectively manage that? So the the only two things you need is an um, Artifactory instance to host your uh, containers and the Docker client to upload the, from the producer side and download from the consumer from the consumer side. And then you just go Docker run container name and it knows that it should come from Artifactory, download it and. Boom, you have your container up and running. Cool. That sounds really easy. What, what took you guys so long? Um, <laughs> absence of Docker. <laughs> yeah, Once we okay. have Docker in place, our factory is there to support. Everything else goes, goes really straightforward. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's right. really cool. So what else? So, a, another interesting stuff that we are doing is around Bintra, actually. So um, another big announcement here for Java 1 is uh, the support for premium accounts on Bintray. So now not only open source projects can host 
their uh, uh, their packages, and that's of course still there and for free, especially for uh, Java packages. Again, we love uh, our Java stuff, but also non-open source uh, projects or projects that need um, unlimited storage or bandwidth can join can, Bintray as well. They can do that as well now yeah, with their yeah. own instance. So yeah, you can, huge enterprises can just uh, establish their own download centers, yeah, totally okay. branded without, you know, wi uh, white labeled, but all the infrastructure, they don't need to take care of it anymore. Okay. We, we so are guys, there for them. You guys are kind of turning that into like a white, white label service. Yeah. Very nice. Um, and then how about you personally? Are you going to be giving more Docker talks now? Um, I'll hope so. We need to see, but I always prefer Java talks. Groovy Java. talks is groovy, groovy talks special. Groovy talks. Yeah, well, yeah. What so were we some just, of the sessions you gave at Java one. Yeah, year? so we did uh, we did a great and funny groovy puzzler talk. This right. is something that we try, you know, to build uh, and step on the shoulders of giants of the epic Java puzzlers. Cool. Uh, but uh, do it with a uh, groovy twist. Yeah. So we we need to find out the proper uniform. We cannot do it in boring <laughs> overalls. We need something groovier. So we work on that. And we are definitely trying to run this show for a Java and Groovy conferences. That's a huge fun. It was very entertaining. Yeah, no, that sounds very cool. Yeah, it is. All and right. we throw t-shirts on people. T you, you have the best t-shirts. And we throw them on people. JFrog has the best. Oh, wait, wait. No, I, right. need, I need to turn around. Let's try to do that. Ugh. Yeah, that's that's an awesome T-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do you have a full collection of the entire the entire J Frog? Yeah. So let me let me show you and the audience something. I don't know if it's close enough. It's probably not. But let's no, try to do it. No, this is fine. This way we don't have to refocus the camera. So this, oh yeah. This is all the J Frog T-shirts over the years. Yeah, that's the collection, and the sticker is for you, of course. I know Thank that you your much. laptop only has one sticker on it, but I can try. I yes. can try. Yes, we'll work on that. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank Thanks you very much, Steven. It was a pleasure as usual. Yeah, likewise.